let's talk about how to insert audio in Google Slides. So this has been a long awaited feature. Many teachers have been asking me for years, how do I add narration or background music or other types of audio into my slides? And really, there wasn't a way to do it. There were some band-aids, there were some ways to work around it, but you really couldn't do exactly what I'm about to show you. So I want to walk you through step by step and show you exactly how you can insert audio in Google Slides. Now, the first thing I want you to understand is that the feature allows us to insert audio, not create the audio file itself. OK, so you have to um, either create the audio or it must be something that's already created or you have access to in order to insert it. The file type must be an MP3 or WAV file type. So that means that the file ends in .mp3 or .wav. Those are the only two file types that are acceptable. If you want to create your own audio files, I do have a blog post that I will link below that has some ideas for you, but you can easily go to the Chrome Web Store and find some voice recorders. So online voice recorder is web-based, it's easy to use. You could also record in Audacity on a Mac or a PC, or if you are on an Apple product, you can also record in GarageBand and save those files as an MP3 or WAV file. Now, let's get started. So once we have our audio file, we're going to make sure that it is saved in Google Drive first. So in order to ensure that you have saved your file to Google Drive, I want to walk you through these steps. So if you've never done this before, you're going to click on new and you're going to go to file upload. From here, you're going to navigate and find where you saved that file. I've got an MP3 right here. I'm going to upload it right into my drive. OK, so there it's saved. You can organize it in your your folders if you like. Now, when we go back to our slideshow, we simply go to insert audio. And from here, it's going to automatically pull from your Google Drive any files that are MP3 or WAV files. Of course, if you have several, you can search or go into to, uh, shared drives or shared with me or even your recent files. Mine's popping up right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click select. So by default, I've noticed it tends to insert it in the same location towards the bottom left of the screen. However, we've got our blue bars. That means the object is selected, this little icon, which means we can also move this around wherever we want. I'm going to use my little crosshairs and center this right in the middle. OK, and I want to show you a few other things that you can do once you've inserted that audio file. So once you select it, Notice at the top we have a contextual menu. This will only appear if it is selected. Go ahead and click on Format Options, and you'll see lots of different options here. Now, the one that's really going to matter is this first one, Audio Playback. So we can decide how we want to play this audio in our slideshow. Do we want to have to click on it? Is it something that is, is needed? We need to do it at a certain time. Or do we want it to play automatically as soon as the slide loads? You can also adjust the volume. So if for some reason, maybe you just want the background music while you're speaking and you want to take the volume down a little bit, or if you are um, having students present or do some different things, you can change that as well. And notice this is grayed out right here. Hide icon while presenting. So this is what they're referring to as the icon. You can only hide that if you choose automatically, which if you think about it, that makes sense. You're not going to be able to hide the icon because you need it to play it um, unless you choose automatically. So um, you can also choose to loop the audio, meaning once it stops, it will start back and play again. My audio is already a minute and 32 seconds. 
that may or may not be something that I want to do, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, but I'm gonna change it back to on click. And once it is in presentation mode, you will be able to see how this works, but you can also preview in your editing mode. So we can click play right here. I just have this playing in my headphones right next to me. So um, that's a theme song from my podcast, The Shake Up Learning Show. And um, really easy just to use this. But notice the menu goes away when you don't have the object selected. So if you're looking for this, you've got to make sure you have those blue bars. Um, the rest of these things really do have more to do with formatting, size, position, coloring the icon, drop shadow, reflection, all of these things that you see when you are formatting other types of objects and images in slides. Okay, so we are in presentation mode and you can see my little icon is here. When I just hover, I'm not even clicking, I'm hovering and I have the play option that I can play from here or if I click directly on it, it also starts to play. So those two options are there for you as well. So I hope you are as excited as I am about this new feature. I think it's going to be a fabulous addition to our lesson plans, to interactive lessons, as well as student projects. So I'll also include a link below this video to another blog post that is 25 ways that you can use audio in your Google Slides projects. So I will catch you in the next video. Bye, y'all.